Hey everyone, if you're planning to get one of these in CCNA, that is a certificate from Cisco, then today's video is going to be very helpful. So what I'm going to be talking about is my journey and my experience while giving the certification exam. And if you stick around till the end, I will be giving you useful tips all over the video of how to pass the certification without any hassles. So let's get into it. So let's first talk about the certification exam. You'll get 120 minutes if you are an English speaking nation. And if you are in some place like India where the primary language is not English, you get 150 minutes. The questions, amount of questions that it will come is approximately 60 to 65 questions. So you get ample amount of time to complete your exam. So there is no rush. You can do it as slowly as possible for your convenience. But remember one thing, once you have clicked an answer and you click next, there is no going back. That's it. That is recorded. And in Cisco exams, you cannot go back on the question again to revise or to change your answer. So whatever you have answered once and click next, that's the final thing. So what are the type of questions that come? So the first type is an MCQ. MCQ with only one answer is right. And they, the options are usually in radio button style. So that's a round button. The second type is a multiple choice questions where multiple correct answers may be possible. And they come in checkbox style. So remember radio style, only one answer checkbox style, maybe more than one answer. Then there are drag and drop. So there are comparisons and you have to drag and drop different options. Not all options can be dragged and dropped. So remember that fourth is MCQ again, but here's the trick part. Only one answer is right. But when you read through the question and when you read through the options, you may feel that there are more than one answers, right? But you can only select one. So don't get confused here. The objective is to select the best answer here because yes, you are right. There are more than one answer, right? And more than one option which you can select and can be interpreted as the right answer but you will have to select the best option out of the four. So how to register for the exam? So go to cisco.com and first create an ID for yourself. Then go to PSN view and schedule your exam. Now, whenever you're scheduling an exam, only schedule it once you're ready. Don't put extra pressure on yourself that I need to select a date of say one month or two months or three months, and then I have to give the exam. Don't do that. And people suggest that you do that. I don't, I will never suggest you such a thing of putting pressure on yourself and don't even think that certain time of the day, you'll feel more relaxed. There's nothing like that. You just have to go in there, give the exam and get out. That's it. It's plain and simple. Don't fall for all the BS that the people might suggest you. So what study material to use? Well, from personal experience, I can tell you, that the OCG official certification guide is more than enough. You don't have to fall for any other uh, course material from any other person. The Wendell Odom certification guide that is the official certification guide from Cisco press is more than sufficient for your CCNA. Hell, it was more than sufficient for giving even NRC exam for me. Next up is labs. How do we do our labs? So if you're doing your CCNA, then packet tracer is going to be enough for you. 90% of all the commands that are there in official certification guide will work on packet tracer. In case you want to go beyond that, you can install GNS3 or you can install Eve NG and, but you'll need images for that. You can buy a license from Cisco for viral images and you can download viral images and load that. That is also known as CML now. Or what you can do is go online on Cisco. You can go to developer.cisco.com or sandbox.developer.cisco.com, something like that. And you can use CML labs for two hours. Every two hours you need to renew it, but for every two hours you can use it for free of cost. You can do it online on your browser. Otherwise you can have GNS3 as I told you or EVNG. If you do not have a laptop which is powerful enough or a computer or a desktop which is powerful enough to run these, you can rent out from Azure or from DigitalOcean or from Linode. 
everyone gives you credits and everyone's credit is good enough for at least two months of free server for you you can do all your labs free of cost you don't have to spend a single dime on it so don't fall for that i need this lab i need this simulator you do not need anything all these things that i'm telling you of free stuff that is available along the internet is more than sufficient to get you through your ccna so should i buy a simulator well if you are really hell bent on buying it nobody can stop you but in my experience i did not use any simulator other than gns3 for doing my labs and i didn't use any other exam simulator to prepare me also so the best thing is do your ocg go through it completely go through it thoroughly do your labs according to ocg then just go on google and search for scenarios which you would like to try out and there is tons of scenarios out there go through those labs and you'll face multiple issues while doing those labs and if you're able to do those labs overcome those issues you'll be able to clear your ccna without any complaints so if you're following my videos you know that i've been giving out practical examples also now so you can follow them if you want to and you can just go to my github repository and download those practical examples which will help you along in your ccna journey if you're looking for certain specific scenarios uh, do let me know in the comment section below and i will try to create it for you guys so before your exam now this is going to be the day that your butterflies are going to be running wild in your stomach so <laughs> don't worry about it it happens to everybody being nervous is good and being nervous is natural so one hour before your exam switch on your laptops or your desktops whatever the equipment that you're going to be using shut down all the other programs and just turn on the psn view exam app that is going to be available to you for download do not shut down your mobile you will need your mobile to uh, click photographs of your room if you're giving uh, the exam in your home and you will also need your mobile phone to click photographs of your identification card that is going to be a passport or something similar i suggest that you keep your passport around that's the best choice so once you are done with this shut down your mobile phone and do not have any electronic gadget around you in case the proctor catches you or thinks that you have another electronic gadget your exam will be terminated at that very moment and uh, i do not know the appeal procedure because i have not gone through it so you can probably read online i've seen certain people who were like looking here and there and the proctor came online and ask them to show them around and there was an electronic gadget there and their exam was terminated at that very moment you do not want to lose 295 dollars that you're going to be paying for the exam and you do not want to lose your credibility also with cisco because this will be recorded somewhere it is obvious so you do not want that to happen so to avoid that do not have any electronic gadgets lying around and when you're doing your exam just focus on the screen because i know that when i was giving the exam i was reading out questions a bit too loudly and the proctor told me not to read it too loudly because it seemed as if i was asking the question to someone so it is very natural for proctor to think like that so don't give them any hints that you are cheating you can have a clear bottle of water with you but make sure when you're taking your photographs that clear bottle of water is shown and is lying very next to your laptop or your desktop whatever it is and if the proctor asks you tell them it's a clear bottle of water and you need it during your exam also note that you will not be allowed to get up you will have to sit the whole duration of the exam till you submit your exam so once you have done your with your exam you will be given a survey to fill once you fill the survey the exam app will close down and you will have to relaunch your psn view account and go there and see your result you will be given the result immediately your marks will be uploaded almost immediately i think the marks get uploaded about 5 minutes or later but the exam result is shown immediately so my biggest tip for completing this exam is going to be that follow ocg there is nothing better than the ocg for ccna if you are following any other thing i have not used it and i do not know about it but it's going to be not as effective as the ocg 
OCG has all the answers that are going to come in the exam. So follow the OCG. Point number two, remember there is no going back. That's the biggest step. Once you have gone to the next question, the previous question is not available for review or change or whatever else you want to do. So do not submit the question or do not place next until and unless you are sure. If you're not sure, don't worry about it. Go to the next question. One question, if you do not know, is not the end of the world. Read the question carefully. To confuse you, certain questions will be given out with certain terminology which has no relevance, technical relevance to be sure for that question. But that terminology is used in a generic form and that terminology is being used to only confuse you. So if you read the question carefully, you will understand that the terminology is being used for confusing you and for a generic term. Find that generic term and replace that terminology with that generic term and that will help you solve the question much more easily. And lastly, if you have more than one right answers, remember to select the best answer. There is only one right answer in multiple choice questions with radio button. There are no more than one right answers in there. I also thought that the certain question had more than one right answers and I filed a complaint with them. But I got to know in a reply that I was actually wrong. There was only one right answer. Luckily, I had submitted both the questions with the right answer. So do not get confused. There is only one right answer. And lastly, before I close this video, I'll be conducting live sessions for CCNA, for Microtech and for other training purposes. So stick around, do subscribe to my channel to get the latest updates, to get the latest details of what trainings are going to be happening live on Zoom or on YouTube so that you can also participate in them. Until we see you the next time around, goodbye.